James Hyman is a super fan, a super fan of magazines, that is. The Hyman Archive is a record-breakingly huge collection of mags, pamphlets, brochures and zines that James has picked up over the years. It comprises of over 4,500 titles and a mammoth 120,000 individual issues. The real impetus and main thrust of my magazine collecting was when I was a scriptwriter for MTV Europe. Back then, magazines were your internet. There wasn't the internet, so your information sources were really dependent on magazines if you wanted to talk about what was happening. And I remember then buying magazines from a place called Vintage Magazine Company, which the owner was this guy, Danny Posner. He gave me the bug for collecting. Name on there, because uh, I would always buy two of everything. One, you know, just kind of, okay, that's my name. You guys can look at it, you can read it. But then I always wanted to keep one immaculate and sealed. The archive is really important for us at the PPA. It's more difficult than you might think to find a copy of something like the NME or Vogue or even Empire magazine from the last 25 years. Um, so to have them all together over all of these years in one place is a fantastically useful tool for the PPA, for publishers, for readers or for anybody who's passionate about magazines. Some of the oldest vintage magazines in this collection are just mind-blowing. There's Melody Makers going back to the 50s, there's NMEs going back to the 40s, there's Playboys from the 50s, there's National Geographics going back to the 20s. Lifestyle, men's, women's. Technology. Sport. Photography. Countercultures. Pop video. Interior design, graphics, animation. You have got the history of printed pop culture. Once catalogued, the archive reached a critical mass where it was recognised for not only being the world's largest collection of magazines, but an invaluable cultural resource. The James Hyman archive was incredibly helpful to the Bowie exhibition. We knew what we were looking for and it was what we hadn't been able to get from the Bowie archive. And what was fantastic was that they came back with exactly what we were looking for. That would have been an enormous job for us to do. The Hyman archive is so valuable because it predates digitisation. That's one of the most important things everyone's got to keep remembering. Putting all these magazines that are currently in print form into digital form is clearly the next step. So it's a very timely project. It will be a perfect case study, I would suggest, for mass digitisation. I would love to see this archive transformed into a research library. Having all of those for our publishers would be very useful, but also for the readers who want to access their favourite magazine at a click. The Hyman Archive is clearly a unique collection which will be invaluable to all sorts of people. The value of it to the future is incomprehensible. It's like not having a library. I think it would be an amazing tool for, you know, from creators, filmmakers, ad agencies, schools, education, anyone who wants to know what something looked like in a period or a particular photographer or an article or a trend. I really am a real advocate of preservation and keeping this stuff and where, how are you going to do that? Digitise it.